the due diligence period. Let's talk about that. I'm Tanya Bird. I'm a realtor in Peachtree City, Georgia, and today we're talking all about the due diligence period. So the number one question I get asked, especially from my out-of-town buyers, when we get ready to write a contract, is you are going to make this contingent up on inspections, right? And technically, we don't have a contingency with inspections in the state of Georgia. We have a due diligence period. So the due diligence period is a period of time in which you get to investigate everything about the house. Everything from inspections, where you have a general inspector come out and inspect the home, check out termites to see if there's any termite damage, check out to see if there's any radon, and if the house is on a well or septic, have those things tested out. You also get to test out the commute from the house to your work, or if uh, you're in an HOA or not. And what are the rules? Are you able to park the RV out back if you're in an HOA or not? So it gives you the period of time to investigate all of these questions. So the length of time is negotiable in the contract. It's anywhere from 10 to 12 days in general. Now, in this last red hot real estate market that we've had, I've seen it shorten down to seven to five, and I've even heard of some people not even having a due diligence period, which I would not recommend because you do need to make sure that this is the right house for you. The, the time in which it starts is the day after binding, and that is true for all timelines within the contract. So if we are sitting here on Tuesday and we go binding on Tuesday, Wednesday is day one, and Thursday is day two, so you start counting the days on how many days you have to get all the inspections done. And having the inspections done early is also key because if the inspector finds something wrong with say the AC unit or the roof, then you may wanna contact an AC repair person or a roofer to come out and check out to see in more detail what the problem might be. It also is the period of time in which you negotiate the repairs. And those negotiations can go many different ways. You can ask the seller to make those repairs for you, or you can ask them to come off the price because you're gonna make the repairs once you move in. Also, the great thing about the due diligence period is you can go under contract as a buyer. You can go to sleep wake up the next morning and decide you want out and you don't have to give any reason whatsoever as to why and you get to keep your earnest money intact so that's essentially the due diligence period in a nutshell if you need help in this fabulous state of Georgia of finding a home whether you're buying a home or even if you need help selling reach out to me. I'll be glad to help. And if you need somebody in your neck of the woods, let me know. I'll be glad to make that connection and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Are you digging the kind of content I'm producing? Then be sure to watch this next video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be in the know when I release my next video.